Hi everyone, welcome back to Krish Bhavna Vlogs, episode number 3. Today we'll be talking about Azure and cloud computing and my journey into cloud computing. And if you're here for the first time, I'm Krish Bhavna. I'm currently a computer science student at University of Illinois, Chicago. And I'm super excited to see you all and let's get started. <laughs> So I've broken this entire episode into four major parts. One is how I entered into cloud computing. Number two is how much time I spent on the exam. And number three is what are the resources that I used for the exams. And number four is some tips and tricks. So let's get started and let's see my Azure journey. So let me start with number one, the cloud story. So I was supposed to do a project on AWS or actually one of the projects related to AWS last year, but somehow it really didn't work out. So I really didn't do cloud last year. So this summer I decided to work on AWS and do a certification called AWS Cloud Practitioner. And I started working for AWS Cloud Practitioner and I learned so many different skills and so many different of uh, services which are really useful. And I really loved AWS. I hosted my entire website on AWS. I'll leave the link in the description below if you want to check it out. So I have completely loved AWS and I thought it was brilliant. And then somehow I got to see the Microsoft event and they were offering free cloud classes and they were giving a virtual. So I thought it would be really wonderful to jump in. And I even know Microsoft offers so many student programs. So I thought it's really brilliant to take the Microsoft exam before the AWS exam. So I thought it's really nice. And then somehow uh, everything worked out. I took Microsoft exam and I passed it in the first attempt and I'm really happy it happened. So this was my tiny cloud journey. Number two, how much time I have spent. So how much time I've spent? I've spent almost 16 days or 17 days for this exam. So I'm, I'm one of those people who really didn't give the first one week or the first 10 days completely for Azure. I was kind of working on multiple things. I was working on some of my data projects and I was also working on uh, some of the college related stuff. So somehow I wasn't really able to give my 100% for the first one week or first 10 days. So uh, I really enjoyed the first two days of uh, the classes were offered by Microsoft. And then uh, I took like a one week break. I completed the coding part of my website and I've launched everything. That's another story. Let's discuss sometime else. Let me actually tell that story in some other video. But uh, in the meantime, I came back after my website and YouTube was launched. I came back to working on Azure again. I started taking notes and uh, I've completely spent around 16 to 17 days for this exam. So including the two training days in the beginning. Number three is the resources. Let's talk about the resources. So what are the best resources that they have? Number one is Microsoft Learn. I thought it was brilliant. They have some nine hours and two minutes or three minutes of course related to it. And it was completely useful. I was one of those people who really didn't get a chance or really didn't use a chance by signing in because I was too lazy to sign in. But please do sign in and please save your progress. And trust me, it is worth it. They have the best documentation, best videos and some good questions that they ask in the entire path and the even the nine hours is self-paced and it is divided by subsections you can read only specific subsections depending on how you want it so please do use your microsoft learn opportunity because it is brilliant and number two is free code camp guys trust me free code camp is the best thing the youtube is having right now they have courses about everything and anything so please do check them out uh, it's not any kind of promotion. I just really love their works. So I really wanted to put it out there. So please do check their work. And coming to Azure, they have three hours and 10 minutes of magic. They have clear explanations of all the services and they have done a really good job in follow, follow up of the account and how to create an account or how to give some of the services. So please do check it out. I thought it's brilliant and it is self-paced too because it's YouTube. So yes, please do check them out. Number three is Tim Warner. He was really brilliant. I thought uh, it was one of the best course. I really didn't get a lot of time to check out his videos because I checked his account last two or three days before the exam. So I really didn't want it to see something else. But if I had any questions, I used to go back to specific examples because he broken down the entire fundamentals exam into 63 parts. And I think when I wrote the exam, it was 60. Yeah, it was 60 videos. Now I think all 63 should be uploaded by now. So please do check out his videos too. They're really helpful. They have all 63 videos and they have detailed explanations and i think if you really use it you can even learn how wonderful azure is and i think it's a really good push to your azure journey because he has done a great job guys i will even leave his playlist description below and i will leave the cloud computing description below too so please do check out his links 
and the both are actually the three are great resources if you see any other resources please leave a comment below so that i can check it out or anybody who really wants to write an exam easy 900 might love it so yes last but not the least tips and tricks guys there are so many questions which are completely based on services when i took the exam i can't give you the exact questions but there are so many questions which are based on services so they gave a certain question and they asked what does this service do or like which is the best suitable service for this to use so please do learn a lot about the services i think uh, free code camp has done a really good job in explaining about all the different services which are supposed to be in this exam so please learn about all the core services which we'll be using and also the other thing is please learn the cloud concepts i think i got so many questions from cloud concepts example what is software as a service or what is infrastructure as a service or what does this belong to what does a virtual machine belong to what does a function app belong to so i thought it was really nice uh, to go through those kind of questions because i really made my cloud skills very strong and i learned a lot of different kind of experiences like private cloud hybrid cloud public cloud and cloud native which is public again so all these kind of things so i thought it was really worth it to check out uh, different sectors or different areas of uh, the cloud concepts because that's how you get stronger in cloud even then the exam i think the skill is what really matters and i'm one of those people who really trust skills are way more important than certificates please learn the cloud services and also please learn how those core concepts work so i think that who took the majority of the space for my questions i had 31 questions in the exam and i had few questions which are uh, like yes or no questions so for, for example is this the service that we use for this condition yes or no so i think sometimes those kind of questions had uh, multiple questions like i think one question had three of them and i got three questions like that so three questions had nine questions in them so this is kind of tricky but yes i hope you got what i meant so that's the thing for today so i hope you like this video and cloud is wonderful this is something that i really wanted to add in the end i think um, which i forgot to say so many times there are so many people who are really scared to jump into cloud computing because they think it's kind of complicated and it's weird but trust me guys cloud computing is really wonderful please do check out this videos and i think you'll do great and i loved azure so much i also loved aws so much so both these clouds were really wonderful for me so it was a nice summer i spent my great time on two valuable cloud services so i'm really happy i got this time and i'm really happy that i'm finally able to share this with you so that's the story for today guys i'll see you all next week and until then signing off this is krish bab and please do subscribe to my channel because there are so many people who are coming here and watching the videos and not subscribing and i think the subscribe would really give me a good push to my channel so please do subscribe guys <laughs>